Welcome back to What's Up Oxford. I have the lovely Jill from Handbags for Hospice here with us. So good morning, Jill. Hi, Shannon. All right, so we're a couple of weeks out from the big event, about eight weeks out? Yes, January 26th. Okay, and how are the ticket sales going? Ticket sales are going very well. We do have a small number of tickets left, so if you're looking at attending the event, you really need to put Get your, your tickets, tickets soon. Yep. Okay, or potentially maybe a nice gift for Christmas. Somebody Absolutely. could throw that ticket in a stocking. Absolutely. Okay, so I understand that there is something new you guys are gonna be trying this year. Uh, so this year we're actually selling tickets on a Louis Vuitton ton uh, leading up to the event. So that's pretty exciting. Uh, that was do uh, donated for us, uh, or to us, sorry, by Dom and Aaron Rosso at Norwich Dental. Oh, um, nice. So we'll be selling tickets ahead of the event and we will actually draw for the winner at the event. Okay. So that's another good stocking stuffer item. Um, anyone can tickets? purchase a ticket. $20 each or three for 50. $20 ticket to potentially have a $3,000 bag. You got it. Wow, okay, and it's a Louis. So it is a Louis, so color? very exciting. It's just the classic monogram. Okay. Um, so I'm sure every lady in Oxford County oh, <laughs> would love heck to win it. yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, myself included. <laughs> so you can buy tickets even if you're not attending the event? Yes. Okay, yes. and yeah. where are tickets available? Uh, tickets will be available um, throughout Oxford County, so we'll have it at some businesses, and uh, VON will also be selling them, and the committee will be selling as well. Okay. Yeah. Will you have tickets for the purse on Instagram? Yes, we'll have everything on social media as well. Perfect. Yeah, okay. And Facebook. And fund a need. So we'll fund, fund a need. need. Tell us about that. Okay, so fund a need is what we, um, we've done this for a number of years. So what we're going to do this year is we're going to try and raise $75,000 in five minutes with the help of Lane, our auctionista. Okay. Um, anyone that's attended the event before is quite familiar with Lane. They are a very dynamic individual and- um, Know how to command a room for sure. Absolutely. Very entertaining. Absolutely. So we're really looking for people to pull together and raise that $75,000. Um, each year, the manager of Secure House, Janine, will let us know what's a specific need that the house is you know, requiring. And this year it's been identified that the patient rooms need a refresh. Oh, so okay. we're looking at raising $75,000 so we can then um, you know, update the beds, new fridges, kettles paint, you know, all the decor in the 10 patient rooms and, and really, you know. Spruce things up a little bit. Spruce things up. And, and it really is what makes Secure House a home for sure. Of course. Okay. Yeah. So what would that look like? So you guys are going to set a timer for five minutes and just let's see what we can do as a community. There's going to be over a thousand people in the room. Yeah. We're hoping to have a thousand guests in the room this year, which is our biggest ever. And Lane really will work that room. It's surprising when you start breaking it down across a thousand people, 75 $5,000 really isn't that hard to, to, come, up to with. come up with. Of yeah. course, and of course, it, it's something that stays right in our community. Right and in Oxford, absolutely. Anybody that's ever had a family member that has been at Secure House or you have ever been to Secure House, you realize just how important it really is for us to, to maintain this. Yeah, and really, I mean, that's what brings me to this position. Um, my mother-in-law and my father-in-law were both at Secure House. And honestly, when you walk through the doors, you realize how important it is for the community. Of it's course. not something you think about too often, but when you need it, you're pretty glad it's there. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Handbags for Hospice, January 26th. It is the event of the year. It if is. If you've never been, you need to go. Even if you're not a hand bag girl just the event itself is just amazing yeah and there's other items in the room as well there's obviously great food and great drinks um, there's our premium prize table we'll have the draw on the louis uh, we have a live auction on not just purses but also on live experiences so yeah we have a, i remember you were talking about that on the last show yeah okay. so we have a whole glamping package and yeah lots of lots of fun stuff so if you're not a purse person there's lots of other things for you to do there for and sure and what a nice way to break up the winter you know it's a month after Christmas. The days are hopefully just starting to get a little bit longer <laughs> and a, a great event for the community. For sure. Okay. Well, really appreciate you being on the show and I look forward to hearing when those tickets for the Louis go on sale because I will be buying I'll be some. In touch. <laughs> all right. That's all we have for today. Thanks very much for watching. We'll see you next time.